Hi, I'm Tiffany Howard, and this is Five Reasons Not to Be Vegan. I'm vegan, but I have five reasons why you probably ought not to be vegan. First reason is you will expand your consciousness, and I know a lot of you believe that ignorance is bliss. So if you want to keep that false belief, please, please, please do not become vegan. Because once you become vegan, your consciousness expands. You become more loving because you're open to it. You're connected to all of nature. That means you're connected to animals. You see that murdering animals our family is not a loving thing. You start connecting more to other people. You become more sensitive to those around you. You become more sensitive to other beings. You become more connected to spirit and to life and to all that surrounds you. So I beg you, do not become vegan. It expands your consciousness. Continue to stay in your place of ignorance is bliss. Second reason, you become more knowledgeable. You go to the grocery store, you have to read the labels and see what you're putting in your body, what you're eating, what you're feeding your kids, what you're feeding your family. So please do not become vegan. It requires you to read and be interested in your own health and well-being to be interested in what you're feeding this temple, this one temple that we have in this one lifetime you start to learn what you're feeding it, what you're fueling it, what it requires to keep you upright and happy and healthy and well. So please don't become vegan. It requires you to become more knowledgeable, more interested in your own health and well-being because you learn what you're feeding your body, you learn what you're feeding your family. And once you learn that, you realize that that milk you're drinking has pus in it. I'm sorry to tell you that, but the FDA allows a certain amount of pus from the cow to be in the milk. I'm sorry to break that to you. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Reason number three, you help the environment. And I know, I know, some of you don't care about Mother Earth, this one planet that we have, our home, that we're leaving to our children. I know, I know, I know. But you help the Earth because being vegan helps the environment. Right? It's, it cuts down and reduces pollution, air pollution, water pollution. You use less water, less of those 18-wheelers on the road carrying the dead animals to the supermarket and back. No more the grazing of the animals on the land, depleting the land. No more of the animal carcass waste. You help the environment. And I know, some of you don't care about helping the environment. Some of you probably didn't even believe in global warming. <laughs> and here it is. So please, do not become vegan because it's better for the environment. Fourth reason. I don't know if you're gonna like this one. But you're going to get so tired of people asking you, what did you do? Did you go on holiday? 
How many pounds did you lose? You look so good and peaceful. What did you do? Are you exercising more? What is it? You're going to get so tired of people asking you that and you responding, I'm vegan now. You're what? Yes, I'm vegan now. That's the fourth reason not to become vegan. You're going to get so tired of people telling you you look so good and so healthy. Your skin is clear. You have more energy. You have a pep in your step. You're going to get tired of it. I wouldn't become vegan. Fifth reason not to become vegan. Hmm. I have more than five, but I like five. It's the angel number of change. So fifth reason not to become vegan. You won't be able to date just anybody. This is a fun one because when you become vegan, your mind changes. The people you attract to you change, right? Because you're no longer eating dead carcass, murdered animals. So your vibration goes up. So you're going to attract different friends. You're going to attract different partners. You're going to attract more like-minded people. See, like I said, you just can't date anyone because a vegan can't date an animal eater because our bodies smell differently. We taste differently. Our minds are different. Our vibration is higher. We're open. You see? And the new people you're going to attract are going to have more energy. They're going to be looking so good. You're going to be like, where did they come from? You will have to get new friends because all your old friends will be criticizing you. They'll be afraid that they may catch it. They'll be asking you, what has happened to you? You're more loving. You're loving those animals too much. <laughs> you may even cause a rift in your family. Your family will be asking, what's gone wrong? What is happening to you? Who has taken over your body, right? Because you want to be just like your family, right? You have to be. You don't want to create any waves during Thanksgiving and Christmas when they're eating that dead turkey and you're eating tofurkey or vegetables or whatever that's not low vibration. You're not putting that low vibration of death in your body. It's going to cause some family problems during the holidays. So you get new friends, you get a partner that's on your vibration. Woohoo! Can't just date anybody. And you get all that discussion at the holidays from your family about what happened to you. Why are you an animal lover now? <laughs> Whoop! I love it! I love it! Five reasons not to be vegan. It's been a pleasure. I'm Tiffany Howard, inspirational speaker, author of three books, Tap That, Tap Into Transformation, The Spirit, Mind, and Body Connection, co-authored with Sandra Kimler, my children's tapping book, Tap Tap, Tracy's Hair, God Made It Special. My fourth tapping book, soon to be published this year, Tap That Too, Healing the Death Trauma. It helps to heal the change called death. The fear of the change called death. You tap on your fear of death. I believe it's going to help millions. And then my fifth book, also to be published this year, is a collection of original poems. The book is Spiritual 
girl love poems. Thank you so much for your time. Raise your vibration. Be an animal lover. Expand your consciousness. Expand and enhance your connection to spirit. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Till next time. Remember, you can find me at tiffanyhoward.net. T Y F F A N Y Howard.net. Spirit loves you, and I show sure enough love you too. Namaste. Namaste.